Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a chatty crochet with me. I'm making a crochet calico cat and if I didn't say the designer's name, which I think I did, but just in case because I never do and I always forget, um, we should say it twice. Uh, it's Rin Meow 21 or something like that on Etsy. R-I-N period M-E-O-W. This is the teddy bear color that I was using for the otter. The, I think this one was called tangerine, this orange. Um, don't quote me on that. And then black, um, all parfait chunky for this whole order. So yeah, I'm doing that. This is a leg for part of the body. I have already finished the head form today. I started it yesterday, but I didn't get very far. But. Yeah, that's the head. Um, and my new favorite thing is like felt eyes and the hawk glue, like I said. So I am going to do like all the facial features last, like probably after assembling and everything, because I just think it's easier and faster. Um, yeah, today I've not really done a whole, whole lot. I got up kind of late and showered and then came out here and um and came out here and honestly didn't feel like really working so I talked to my friend like on the phone for most of the morning and then I ordered some yarn and felt eyes even though I shouldn't I really have a problem I think this is going to be like the last time though <laughs> like I guess I'll make that pledge now. Unless I need it specifically for an order, I will not buy yarn or felt eyes. Um, from now until like the rest of this month, I can like commit to. Um, unless I need it for like completing an order, because obviously like gotta do my orders. But I should have like enough to make it work on orders, if not like straight up extra at this point. Um, so I should be fine, but yeah, that's my pledge. Cause I really got to like get it back in check, uh, because I was doing good for a little while, but then like market season started and like, I decided to like basically reward myself because market season was starting. And then like I did well on my first market. So I decided to like reward myself for doing well on my first market. So I've just like blown way too much on yarn. But I did do something good with my monies uh, yesterday slash today. Um, and I did post about this on my, like, personal Facebook page. But I know, like, a lot of you aren't on, like, my personal Facebook. But I am in a Twilight shitposting group, which brings me joy. Um, because I love the Twilight movies. But, like, I think we can all agree that they're almost comically bad. Um, so, like, this is just kind of like a snark page about the movie. Um, movies and books. Anywho, the Quileot tribe mentioned in the books and in the movies is was basically exploited for profit. Um, and they're, like, culture exploited for profit. And that's, like, obviously wrong. But they're an actual, like, tribe of people. and. Okay, make another like in black. Um, and they didn't receive like any compensation, meaningful anyway, from like the Twilight books or movies. Um, so my group called for us to like donate to something called uh, Move to Higher Ground, the Move to Higher Ground project, which is to help the tribe literally move themselves um, out of the like tsunami flood zone that they live in um, by
by the Pacific Ocean because like their whole tribe of people and culture and history is like in danger of being like wiped out at a moment's notice, like one good earthquake and it's like later days, um, obviously a problem. So my group did not start this project, but they like obviously heard about it, know about it because it's by proxy now Twilight related. Uh, so they called for the people in the group, and there's a lot of people in the group, to just donate $1. Uh, and I guess they do it every year, but I haven't been in the group that long. Um, so over the past two years, they've raised $10,000 um, and then just wanted to like raise some more, see what they could get done. So they did that, and this group of people, uh, me included, I donated some money. Um, went like above and beyond. Now I did not go above and beyond the way that some people did. Um, there was people donating like a hundred dollars at a time to like a couple hundred dollars at a time. Uh, the rest of us were like a dollar to like $20, but they managed in less than 24 hours to donate at least 14 grand. Like our contributions are still being counted by uh, one of the group members because we all like posted screenshots from donating. And if you didn't have a dollar, you could post that you didn't have a dollar. And then somebody in the group could like sponsor you. So like we all donated like at least a dollar to you know, make this whole thing happen. Um, so yeah, it was a good use of money. Good use of money. They've actually for this project already managed to uh, move their tribal school and now like the next phase will consist of like moving their senior center and human services and their government administration and whatnot um, how many do I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay um, yeah so that's the next phase of their project that they're like collecting money toward so I just think that was uh, obviously a much more productive use of money than, you know, buying more yarn that I obviously, like, don't really need. But that brings me joy. But I thought it was, like, a cool thing. Um, and I posted it on my personal Facebook. So I guess I'll post it in, like, the description. So if you guys even have, like, a dollar to spare, this is a good cause. Um Especially if you are a lover of the Twilight movies or books, um, we like almost owe it to them because like they didn't ask to be like made famous and now they are and they didn't receive like any sort of like compensation for the fact that they were used in a book and movies and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, it's cool. If you want to donate, donate. If not, no one judges you. It's cool. But I know I'm a lover of the books and the movies and it just felt like the right thing to do because that's like brought me a joy personally. So yeah, I forget the point of that, but I did that yesterday and then I did it again today because I seen a couple of people saying they like would like to be sponsored if anybody had like, you know, extra dollars to spare. So I sponsored a couple of people too. Oh, and I also paid an invoice today for like more editing for my videos. That's pretty productive, I think. It allows me to be productive in other ways. Like sitting here crocheting to like avoid doing writing jobs. I mean, I have to still do it. So this is just like putting off the inevitable and I'm doing an order. I'm not crocheting for pure funsies, but it is nice to be able to like get out of doing like, you know, real work, which I say loosely, um, in order to crochet, but then I don't have to like feel guilty about crocheting because I'm also doing it for like work too. Kind of nice. What a good system. What a good system. I feel like I never know what to say in these videos because I'm like boring. I just like do this and work and occasionally I guess while I'm working I do 
watch some stuff. Like I told you about the Della Vlogs people. Like, that's just really nice. Um, oh, and I've been watching Beverly Hills 90210, which is obviously, like, a little before my time. But that's kind of brought me joy, too. I see what the hype was about. Uh, and my gosh, everyone was, like, super attractive on that show for, like, no reason. I mean, Luke Perry has always been attractive, and I know him as Pike from the, like, OG Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So, I love him. But, like, Brian Austin Green, gorgeous. Jason Priestley, gorgeous. OG Jenny Garth, uh, still gorgeous now, but gorgeous young. Oh, wait, I probably wasn't supposed to cut this. Okay, yeah, sure wasn't supposed to cut it, but it's fine. Easily fixed. Um, yeah, just just a show full of gorgeous people. Like, really. Um, and, like, I love it. It's like a just a regular after-school special. But those kids are bad. Like, Brandon? He's, what, I think he's, like, 17 in the show? And gets, like, a whole DUI. Like, if my parents, like, caught me out after hours, like, in general, I would have been grounded for, like, a billion years. But Brandon gets a whole DUI. And he just says, like, he's sorry and he feels bad. And it's, like, A-okay. But, yeah, he he just, like, apologizes. And it's, like, A-okay. Um, what else was, like, nuts? Oh, yeah, they're all, like, alcoholics and stuff for, like, no good reason. Once again, if I was, like, not home when the street lights came on, my parents would have, like, I'd have been in trouble. Let's just put it that way. But these kids can, like, become full-blown alcoholics. And it's just, once again, oh, I got a hangover. I I feel so bad. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. And then it's just fine. Yeah, so I just, I find it, like, comical, but also, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I listened to Harry Potter, and I guess in editing, we could leave in just, like, a little baby clip. So, if you've, like, never listened to the Jim Dale recording of, like, the Harry Potter books, you should. That's 10 out of 10. Um, and then I guess I've just been, like, working. So, like, a little bit of TV, a little bit of YouTube and the Harry Potter audiobooks really just, like, keep me going. So I suppose I'll stop this clip here. Um, and a quick recap. I've done the Christmas Otter. I've done the... That's the front. I've done the cat head. And now I've got cat legs and I'm going like up into the body. You say you got a lollipop? You got a lollipop. Mm, that's so delicious. That's delicious. You want to hold it up and show them? Say this in my lollipop. It's my lollipop. Hey, I got it in a package. Mmm, yum. You tell them you got it in a package? No? Okay. I got... Oh. I got more... Well, I was going to say eyes, but technically these are not eyes. Um, I got more things from the Etsy shop. You're welcome. From the shop Pink Tomato Crochet. 
These are the felt eyes that I like always talk about that are like linked in the description box. It's not my business. I just think they're. Oh, you want me to open it? I just think their eyes are like really cute. I mean, like, look at them. Um, but in the package, she also sent a couple of stickers and a lollipop, um, which I don't tend to give like little things like that. Because, like, if I was just, like, a regular person, like, I would toss this lollipop probably, like, in the trash. But I happen to have kids, so, like, it works out. So now he can have a lollipop. <gasps> okay. Um, yeah, here, and I'll show you my stickers. Oh, wait. Just one sticker. Uh, it says, Yarnies Yarn Together. That's cute. Um, and I will say that this is just, like, small prizes, basically, uh, in this package. When I did my, I guess I can adjust the camera now. When I did my, like, big order from her that had, like, over $100 worth of stuff in it, she sent, like, a little zipper bag that says Crochet Mama. She sent, like, little charms, um, that were, like, Winnie the Pooh charms. And they, like, look like they could go on a charm bracelet. Um, those were really cute. So I feel like the more you spend, the more little trinkets. There was a couple of stickers, too. Oh, no. I dropped it. Um, but, yeah. I think it's sometimes cool to get little prizes. Uh, but I'm, like, not a candy person. So I would, like, just give it to them. Or I guess I am a candy person. But I'm, like, a chocolate candy person, not, like, a lollipop candy person. Because I'm not three. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess that part of customer service is good. Where did I dropped it? I can't find it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because coincidentally, that's the eyes, the second order of eyes that I had gotten from her. Um, which is just to restock on these ones because these ones are like my all-time favorite. Uh, and they're one and a half inch, and this is a pack of ten, so five sets. Um, and I've used these on a cow custom order I did. I've used these on my, like, big, like, sunflower turtle that I just did for my market. Uh, yeah, they're the, they're the best. Obviously, because of the size, you need, like, a big <laughs> thing. So I wish they, like, came in, like, a smaller size. But ten out of ten. Love them. But yeah, I am not too much further, but I've got a little more of the body. Uh, so this video is going to probably span over three days because I am uh, still literally exactly where I was earlier and it's now 7 p.m. Um, if my TV is really loud, that's my bad. Uh, my remote's over there and I'm not going to get it because this is going to be like a brief update. Um, but I am watching my Twilight group, uh, because they're starting to tally the donations from the last 24 hours because they did it as like a 24 hour challenge thing. Um, so I just wanted to update because I just seen an update and apparently they're only about halfway through counting the donations, uh, and there's 2,300 donations totaling about $16,000 so far. So like... That's a lot. <laughs> uh, so that's really cool. Uh, and now I'm going to actually get back to crocheting. We just had dinner a little while ago and I feel kind of nauseous. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's homemade mac and cheese. That's what we had. And there's like a lot of cheese in it. And it was just like kind of heavy and greasy, but it was really good. So it was one of those things that like you can't stop eating it, but you know, you're going to be sick. <laughs> so I only have like one bowl, but it was a lot. It was a lot. Good though. But yes, I'm going to get back to work and I will update you guys in a little while, if not tomorrow. Okay, so this is the day after the last clip. So I think the last time I filmed was the 20th and it's now the 22nd. And I didn't film anything yesterday because I basically didn't crochet at all yesterday. I uh, set out to like finish my writing jobs for the week so I could have like Friday, Saturday, Sunday off from writing jobs 
and I'm pretty sure I said at some point in this video that this was my last custom order and then I would be off to like working on market prep but as it goes down uh always um I just got an order today so I do have something else to make um it shouldn't take too long uh it's for another finished item that I sell but it's not a custom order so they don't take long I have those set to like a five day turnaround time um and it definitely won't take five days if I sat down and started now I could finish by like later today uh anywho I just wanted to I gotta get it uh show you guys my custom orders and then like kind of sign off on here and yeah so before I show you my custom orders um I wanted to say because I've been talking about it throughout this video that the official amount of money we raised uh in my like little twilight group for the move to higher ground project was thirty thousand dollars so that's really cool that's the final number and i'll have that like link below if you guys would like to donate to that and yes so here is the otter that's part of the order um she wanted a christmas otter so i free handed this little hat and i know i've said it i'm pretty sure i've said it but this is a sweet softies pattern if i did not say that um and then i free handed the hat based off um a witch hat uh, but then I just, instead of doing a rim, I just did some more straight rows so I could like flip it. So that's that. And then I've been adding these like handmade with love cards, tags, I mean, to my orders. They're really cute. Um, I suppose I can link them below if you guys want those. Uh, on this, it just says handmade with love and then there's nothing on the other side. If I do a custom order like based off of somebody's something specific, uh, I have been like writing the names, which I do always ask just to check um, because, you know, maybe somebody doesn't want that. But she said that it sounded cute when she ordered. So I did the name on this one. This is the cat. This was the thing. I was pretty sure there was something special about the cat and it was a yellow and black scarf. That's an homage to like Hufflepuff. So because she's like a Harry Potter fan. So I just freehanded a little scarf. And this is a functional button to like keep the scarf on. And then the cat's name was Izzy. So, oh, I guess that's going to be backwards because of how I film. So it says Izzy. That's like upside down. But yeah, it's just really simple. I try to do it fancy, but you know, I'm not like a calligraphy writing kind of person. <laughs> Ignore my dogs. Um... But yeah, so this is this little custom order here, uh, the second part of it, and I'm done with the order. I've got it started to be boxed up next to me, uh, so that will hopefully ship out today if I can get that label on it and finish like packing the box. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. If you'd like more crochet content, you can check out this video right here, and the next two videos I'm going to film are tutorials that I've promised you guys. So I've decided, I don't remember which ones I originally said I would do, but I've decided now that I'm going to do a tutorial for my witch hat and a tutorial for the pumpkin. Um, so yes, if you guys would like to see those, they'll be coming out soon. And in the meantime, other crochet content and goodbye. <laughs>